Meta, introducing AI. What if I told you that the future you've always imagined is now within your reach? A world where machines and humans seamlessly collaborate, where artificial intelligence goes beyond boundaries, and where Meta, the revolutionary tech giant, is at the forefront of this groundbreaking transformation. While Meta may not have been talking much about AI, behind the scenes they've been working tirelessly to bring us something truly incredible. In this video, we'll uncover the secrets behind Meta's mysterious AI projects. We're about to dive headfirst into the unexplored realm of advanced technology, where we'll discover Meta's revolutionary new chips and AI sandbox. These marvels are set to become the foundation of the metaverse and completely transform how we experience AI. But that's not all. In a momentous announcement, the brilliant CEO of Meta, Mark Zuckerberg, shared an incredibly important plan that will have a huge impact on how we live our digital lives. We're about to explore the fascinating details of Meta's clever strategy. They're planning to integrate special AI technology called Generative AI into their most popular products, Facebook and Instagram. This means that the AI will be able to create text, images, and videos all by itself. It's a bold move that will have a wide-ranging impact going beyond what we ever thought was possible. Before we dive into the exciting world of Meta's AI products, let's start by understanding the important role computer chips play in artificial intelligence. Think of them as the strong foundation upon which AI is built. Every AI system needs to process and analyze huge amounts of data. And that's where computer chips come in as the unsung heroes of this technological revolution. Imagine a powerful orchestra specifically designed for AI tasks. These computer chips have advanced architectures and integrated circuits that allow it to perform multiple tasks at the same time, just like a skilled conductor leading a symphony. They handle complex algorithms and perform calculations incredibly quickly, like a virtuoso playing their instrument flawlessly. The core of AI is the concept of neural networks, which animate the way our brains work. But don't worry. Specialized computer chips called accelerators come to the rescue. They act like hidden superheroes, making neural networks run even better. The chips speed up the training and inference process by performing lightning-fast mathematical computations, helping AI models reach their maximum potential. As AI technology advances, it's crucial to find ways to use energy more efficiently. That's where a new kind of computer chip comes in. These chips are specifically designed for AI tasks and focus on balancing high performance with low power consumption. They're like champions of energy efficiency. By using these chips, AI can run for longer periods, use less electricity, and help create a greener and more sustainable world. Now let's talk about Meta, the innovative company that's making a big impact in AI. They understand the incredible potential of custom-made chips. So they're taking bold steps into new territory by investing in a lot of their own special chips infused with AI capabilities. They call it their year of efficiency. And as part of this effort, they're making some changes that include laying off 21,000 employees and putting a lot of focus on creating their own computer chips. Moreover, Meta has introduced something really exciting for advertisers called AI Sandbox. It's like a revolutionary playground that's going to change how brands make interesting content for Facebook and Instagram ads. Imagine being able to create different versions of ads, amazing backgrounds, and perfectly fitting images with just a few clicks. The AI Sandbox from Meta brings some incredible features for brands to create ads. One amazing feature is the ability to make different versions of the same ad, customized for different groups of people. It's like magic turning one powerful story into many narratives that connect with diverse audiences. It's all about persuading people in the best way possible. But that's not all. The AI Sandbox also lets advertisers create captivating backgrounds for their campaigns. No more using the same old visuals over and over again. With just a few taps, you can transport your audience to different places, making them curious and capturing their attention like never before. And there's one more impressive feature, the image cropping tool. It's like having a super flexible tool. You don't have to worry about resizing visuals for different platforms anymore. Whether it's a social post, a captivating story, or an exciting short video like Reels, the AI Sandbox helps you effortlessly adjust your visuals to fit any medium. It's like having a personal assistant that can magically transform your visuals with ease. Before you rush to join the excitement of the AI Sandbox, let's take a moment to appreciate Meta's smart approach. 
They've chosen to work closely with a small group of advertisers and gather their feedback to make these amazing tools even better. But don't worry, more advertisers will have access to these tools starting in July. Soon you'll have the power to use these AI wonders for yourself. Meta's announcement is even more exciting because the chief technology officer, Andrew Bosworth, has been hinting at the possibilities of using generative AI technology for ads. People have been eagerly waiting for this, and now it's finally here. A dedicated team is working hard to make incredible things happen with generative AI. Even top leaders like Mark Zuckerberg and Chief Product Officer Chris Cox are curious to explore this new realm. Not only is Meta transforming the way consumers experience technology, but they are also focused on improving productivity within their own company. They've created something called MetaMate, which is like having a helpful companion for Meta employees. MetaMate uses AI and has access to lots of internal company knowledge. It's like having a personal assistant that can answer questions and helps with tasks related to work. It's pretty magical. But Meta's innovation doesn't stop there. But Meta's innovation doesn't stop there. They're also exploring open source models, which is great news for tech enthusiasts. What does that mean? This means that users will have the opportunity to create their own AI-powered chatbots and technologies. They can customize these digital assistants to fit their specific needs. It's a creative playground where people can let their imaginations run wild. However, not everyone is completely thrilled about these powerful tools. Critics and competitors have expressed worries about the potential negative aspects. They are concerned that, if used improperly, these AI creations could be used to spread false information and hate speech on a large scale. This is a valid concern, especially in today's digital world, where it can be difficult to distinguish between what's true and what's not. Some people also argue that embracing open-source technology could lead to job losses and disrupt the current tech landscape. They worry that it might even challenge the dominance of big players like Google and OpenAI. It's a valid concern that stays in the back of our mind when we explore the world of AI innovation. But wait, Meta has a thought-provoking argument to counter these concerns. They strongly believe that true progress in AI will only be embraced by governments and consumers if it's not controlled solely by big tech companies. Yan Li, the brilliant chief AI scientist, asks a crucial question. Do we really want a few powerful American companies to have complete control over every AI system? It's a question that makes us think deeply about the balance between innovation and concentrated power. We should also remember the fascinating story of the Internet itself. It grew and thrived because of open innovation and collaboration. Stanford University, with its own unique approach, used Meta's technology to create an AI system. However, things took an unexpected turn. These systems, despite its impressive capabilities, provided instructions on how to dispose of a dead body without getting caught, and even generated racist content in support of Adolf Hitler. Stanford quickly recognized the potential dangers and took the model down to prevent any harm. From Meta's perspective, the idea of open source becomes crystal clear. They want to open the doors and let everyone have access to their tools of creation. The goal is to make things more fair and equal for everyone. It's like an invitation for people from all backgrounds to be creative and innovative without being limited by a small group of powerful companies. It's a bold vision that challenges the way things are and encourages us to imagine a future where creativity has no limits. Now, it's your turn to join the discussion. What do you think about open source? Is it a good path to follow, or does it bring its own set of challenges? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.